Good luck. Ten points of damage to me as well. Fair play. Yep. Guess what I'm gonna do? You are now down to forty. I'm raging. Oh. <laughs> um, can I have chimed? Oh no! What are you doing in the course of this? Yes, you've you've chimed the door. All right. Okay. Well. So. So he's locked us in, basically. No, I chimed the door. I no, the other one. chiming the door means he's oh. opening the other one. Oh, I see, I see. I thought it was just ditching so both us. Both doors are now unlocked. If I wanted to ditch <laughs> you, I would have done that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I was like, is he just going to like lock us in here and just like move on? <laughs> I think we would have ditched us when we got the barrel of alcohol with mm. the spiders. I think that would have been the breaking point, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good day. Max that was a good point. Day. You are the what good guys, guys right? <laughs> I, I think, think so. we're all tainted by our mate. Deny responsibility, mostly, I think. No, no, no. put let's just hope Tari doesn't fail them. What? What? <laughs> oh, fall then. It looked like oh. fail. I like the oh, um, like comment fail. from... Yeah, although in this circumstance, it's probably a good idea to start <clears throat> whacking your own teammates on the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, I like the comment from Blue Slug, just you look in the camera like the office and go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I head over to where they are and try and like sort of dummy attack Mungo? What? Um, Why would you want to attack Mungo? She's a paladin. That's it. D dummy attack. So it looks like I'm helping. Oh, sweet. so you're gonna uh, lie? Uh, oh, can it be? Can Did she? Roll infu can she infuse the weapon with a healing spell? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be awesome. <laughs> I hit you and heal, heal. Nope, not heal, the old heal. healing crossbow idea. Oh. Um, the door is locked. I can't I get through. No, the door isn't locked. Oh, there it is. Right, yeah, that's, that's why you can see through it. All right. The door is open. Yeah. Okay. I need to turn that, don't I? So roll for Inish for me. Bye, brother. To be fair, I would say that you guys are a shade of grey, though not all 50 of them. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Odo is probably filling out a few of those. <laughs> 17. I have a room. Uh, I'm gonna move. Okay, I'm actually down here, but I'm gonna move up here just so that everyone can see. Because mm. I can't see the light okay. for the stream, so. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've got I've got enforced line of sight on at the moment, so you can't just see areas that are that have That's, light. That, no, that, I understand. That's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've got, seven, I've got 17. I just read Max's comment. <laughs> we have a barbarian with wild bursts of violence, a nudist dwarf, and two characters that will likely commit murder um, on their fellow when fellows they... when they finally snap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Quite accurate. So, what's, uh, what's going on? Uh, what's, what's going on is uh, that Tari has entered combat. Uh, and it is your turn where you begin raging. Yeah! Okay, so the rage begins... Um, <laughs> sorry, can I just interrupt quickly? Sorry. While all this is going, while this fight is going oh. on, am I able to take my own actions? Yes, yes you are. You'll be taking yours at the same time as Mungo, basically. Okay, right, well, okay, Mungo could do his first, then I'll, then I'll go. I just, I just, okay. I'm just gonna apply these, uh, to my character. So I've now got a plus six modifier for constitution and a plus seven modifier for strength. Um, which I think adds on to my weapon skill, doesn't it? Because your weapon skill is strength, is it? Or is it? Uh, for your weapon, yes, it's strength. Base attack bonus. Oh, I don't know. Right, so I think that I also gain extra constitution like points. Uh, yes, you do. Which means your health goes up a bit. Um... And I also get see. Do you gain a grand total of 12 hit points, I believe? Yeah! So Sorry. Are, these I'm are temporary ones, armor. so you... I... Hmm? And... Um... I think I'm going to do a... Power attack? Okay. Um... Uh, there's no... There's no negatives to doing power attack, is there? You just take away from your weapon skill. You take away from your attack roll and add it to the damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to take two away from each roll <clears throat> and add it to the damage. Okay. So, 
1d20 plus 10 is my first attack. Yes! Nat 20. Jeez. Nice. 20 plus 8 for my second attack. Not bad. Not bad okay, not. both of them are hit. One of them is a critical threat. Do I need to confirm it? Yes. So it's 1d20 plus 10 again. Yep. Oh my god. Still a hit. Yeah, if so, it's a hit, then that means it's still like a crit hit. Well, a nat 1, that will actually erase your critical, I'm afraid. Does that just erase although, your attack? Although, a 1d20 plus 10 rolling 11 is actually a miss for this guard. Yeah, so I it's know. Not a, it's, so, it's, so it's not a critical hit. So it's not a critical hit, but I still hit him. Yes, so you still hit two, him, but you don't get critical. So it's 2d8. Yes. Slash roll, 2d8, plus 4, because I added on 2 from each attack. So, yeah. Uh, was it just originally 2d8? Yeah, I um, I think that I do uh, 1d8 on each attack. Plus your strength, because it's melee. Oh, is it plus my strength? Because it's oh, melee. I didn't do that before. I'm plus 9. Um, oh, and there was also 5 from... Uh, no, I'm on plus 11 then. Yeah. 2d8 plus 11, and I kind of missed out on 5 damage before. <laughs> Whoops. Right. So, minus the 5 so we can catch up. And then... 21 damage? Yep. What? Yeah, I, I did power attack to get plus, uh, plus 2 on each of my attacks, so that's plus 4. And then my strength is plus 7. Do I add that onto each strike? Uh, yeah, onto each attack. Oh, okay, then it's plus another seven, so it's twenty-eight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's one round of Mongo's raging done. <laughs> <clears throat> and the guard is bisected. Yeah! I thought you were going to say bisexual, though. It's <laughs> 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 my brain went. I have that. an idea. <laughs> uh. Mungo knocked him into another sexuality. <laughs> um. So, Tara, you've just witnessed Mungo kill a guard. What do you do next? Thank um, you. Can... Would I, 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 I? Could I not take my move, my action after Mungo? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you, right. you do your move. Okay, right. Well, uh, during all that hullabaloo, um. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna use that that, <coughs> yeah, that time to sort of hang on around down here. Can I see down there? Uh, yes, you can. There is a bit of light. Uh, would you like to make a spot check for me quickly? Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna double check because I can't. Oh, it's nine. Uh, I, I just I just rem I just noticed something that was even funnier. If we we're adding the strength onto each one, then I did twenty in my first round. <laughs> Lol. When you mongo, you OP. Lol. When you okay. Well, with your spot, you are able to discern the presence that there is a guard standing right here who has just closed the door and is making his way down the down the uh, corridor. Which way? Uh, ahead of you. No, no, I mean, which way is he heading? He's headed forward? towards you. Yeah. Towards the sound of bloody murder. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Okay, well, can I... Can this I one has a halberd. Am I able to move this way? Yes, you are. You have, enough, you have enough movement for that. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, can I can I possibly roll hide as well? I want to. Uh, that is a little bit out of the question, I'm afraid. Okay. Right, well, I'm trying to. I'm I'm a, I'm up against the wall as much as I can. Okay. Uh. Okay, Terry, your move. Well, um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm removing the guard from combat here, but I'm guessing you're going to have a response for Mungo. Yeah, is there any way for me to restrain Mungo? Uh, you can enter into a grapple with him, but that's not going <laughs> to end well for you. Yeah. Is there any other way for me to, like, do I have, like, any rope or anything <clears throat> on me that can help? Wise words from the chat, do a flip. <laughs> Sing soft kitty. Well, 
Mungo presently has 57 hit points. He's going to be raging for another nine rounds. Um, during which time he can probably take out a lot of people. Yeah. As we've just witnessed. Yeah. Imagine if we what got would it take to make him um, just lose consciousness, like not kill him or anything? Just like Whoa. you would Whoa. need to deal, like just just to knock knock you out. Uh, about fifty-eight points of non-lethal. I have a, I have a feeling someone's dying tonight. I, I just I just want to say somebody if already I, has. No, I mean a party man. <laughs> I, I was just going to say if um if I confirm that crit, it's a times three modifier. <laughs> I imagine that Mungo would have just punched him through the chest and exploded him into many little fragments. Entirely possible. Remember, Mungo's a pit fighter. Yeah. He makes money this way. Mm hmm. Did I get any money from killing him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you? Rifle for his pockets. <laughs> oh, to be fair, Tari is, is role playing a character perfectly well. This is exactly what Paladin needs to do. So. Yeah, agreed. Mm -hmm. we're, saying, you're saying, we're saying you're role playing it perfectly because this is exactly what Paladin needs to do. So. Yeah. Mongo. Uh, so Tari, what are you going to do then? You cannot knock him out like. In any, any, any time soon. He will be exhausted once he finishes raging, so you could try and, like, actually uh, restrain him by a grapple, but his strength makes that highly unlikely that you alone will succeed. Right, so I shout for... Shout for, Od for Odo. The naked dwarf? Yeah. Odo is right next to you. Right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> In like fairness, I would help, I would try to forget he was there, anyways. <laughs> um, see anything you like? <laughs> could you quickly just put a pair of pants or something on and help me grapple, like detain Mungo here before he gets him, because he's going to end up getting arrested in some way. You want me to <laughs> take on him? For murdering a Both girl. But He's both of us take... Neither of us will stand a chance against him. You don't have very long to discuss this. Mungo is still raging. Yep. Just just do it quickly. Fine. Otherwise do we'll it, all get arrested. Do, it, do like the Romans do. Forget the trousers. <laughs> I wasn't planning on putting trousers on. Um, <laughs> I'll hold Mungo back as best right. I can. What do, right, what do we need to <clears throat> for trying to detain him? Uh, for a grapple... Let me see. The grapple rules in 3.5 were not the best. Um, isn't, it touch a uh, isn't it touch AC? Well, first there's an attack of opportunity from the person you're trying to grapple. <laughs> Would Mungo attack them? Well, yeah, he's in a rage. In a rage? Friends. No, you've, especially, you've, you've specifically stated I've that. Said specifically, yeah. no. Oh, right. attackers. Your weakness, Mungo. Friends! Okay, so now... Make a touch attack. Make whoever, everyone that is going to be grappling uh, Mungo, make a touch attack. I'm not helping. <laughs> um, this is a race. This is yeah. This is this is versus the third touch AC. Do not use a weapon. Uh, you can use your base attack bonus and your strength. So that's one well, you, you, base attack plus... bonus and your dexterity. I think. My, my touch AC. I think your I think your base. No, attack... it's against it's against Mungo's touch AC. Wait, do you add in your dexterity to your, ba to your base attack bonus with the sword or anything as well? No, unless it's no, a rapier, that's but that's a special case. Good, good. Your, Wait, so um, I... Mung Mungo's touch AC is 13. Mine's 12. 13. If you can get above 13. Um, so, so just just roll a regular attack regular with your base attack, attack bonus and, and, and then we can pick it up from there. So base attack bonus is 4. Yeah, plus your dexterity. So plus four plus dex is modifier zero total of nine. So you've got four. So it's just four. So just do one d twenty plus four. Okay. Uh, plus four. You need thirteen or higher. Attack six. Nope. Okay. <laughs> the naked dwarf fails to grab at Mungo, as does the as does the diminutive armor clad paladin. Mungo will go charging off down the corridor. Look, I tried. 
Oh, but there's need... another person here. We, we need we need to grab him before he do kills anyone else because he's definitely going to end up getting arrested and possibly us too because of this. Not if there are no witnesses. That's uh, true. Okay, as I see Mongo uh, charge down, I'm going to peer around and have a look. Okay. See um, right, well, you can manage to see then that indeed Mongo has encountered the next guard. Yes! Uh, at this point, you also notice that uh, this particular guard is about to be joined by several more because the door over here has just opened. Yeah! Which door? That door. That door. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> so, die hard? Um, no, die harder. Okay, no. hold on. So, hang on. He charged down, and the second he charged down, the door opened. Uh, no, he charged down, and the door was opening as he was engaging that guy. Um, how much... Okay, hang on. Let, let's go down to the nitty gritty. How how much time was it between him running down there and the door door starting to open? Uh, very little. Mm. As in, like a like less than a second. Okay. Okay. Um, Your assumption can therefore be that people in the building know what's happening. Yeah. I'm gonna run after him to try and st st help the guards to stop him because we're not gonna be able traitor. to do it any other way. You traitor! I'm not being a traitor. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I can't. I can't help you kill guards and break into places. <laughs> it goes against what um my character. I can't do it. I I, I just. I, I, I respect that, but I'm going to kill people. Um, Silver Header just uh, did a drawing of Mungo. Oh, he did? Which is, which is just yeah. fantastic. Is it it is really cool. Has it linked to me? Yes, it has. It's, it's, it's yeah. It's okay. just good. Right, well, you, you, you do that, and I'll put it up on stream when I get a second. So. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, what's that 1d20 plus 4 for lying? Uh, that is the a that is, that is the initiative of the guy you're attacking, uh, oh. and he has in fact managed to succeed on that and get more than you. Wait, I haven't done my initiative yet. It's the same initiative. You haven't oh, exited definitely. combat yet. Um, oh. am I roll initiative then if I'm <clears throat> going after them? Uh, you already have it on the list, uh, which reminds okay. me, I shall add Odo at the same as you. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, do we get a flanking bonus? Um, do, do you get a flanking bonus? Yeah. What? A uh, party member by my side. Yes, but they're not attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, they're not attacking the same person as you. Mm. Quite probably, the, the quite probably the guard is about to get a flanking bonus from Tari. Probably. I wouldn't Can't mind say, that if that helps. If that helps contain him. Mm. <laughs> anyway, kill me. Because you've entered, because uh, Mungo enters his space, he gets an attack of opportunity. So, 1d20 plus 8. Oh, wait, no, that, it's plus 9 because I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, yes. I think that hits you. Yes. <laughs> now, does this weapon have a critical hit on 19 and 20? or? Uh, it has a critical threat at 20, I'm afraid. Oh. This is not a long sword. This is a freaking halberd. Awesome! <laughs> You've charged a guy wielding a halberd. Yes! The damage of which is 1d10 plus 4. And by the way, it does, if it does, if he had criticals, it has a times 3. Yes! This is so cool. You take 9 points of damage from ramming into the guy with the halberd. I was on a 55, wasn't I, or something? Or? Uh, you are on 57. 57. So now I'm on 48. Yes. Um, right, while this is going on, out of interest, is it possible to, um, sort of go past combat if I have no, if I, if I'm not in combat when it starts? Uh, it's possible to move through people who, whose space, who are in combat, um, if indeed you are allied with them. Yeah, otherwise you provoke attacks of opportunity when you move that, when you move into their kill threshold. Which means you can't get past because of the guard. 
so no, I can. No, I can just provoke. I just provoke an attack. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, can I? Do... You can tumble to avoid that. But, right. Can I do? Yeah. Can I do the anime thing where they sort of like? There's a battle going on. One guy runs past. <laughs> it's slow mo's, right? And then he just sort of turns to slowly look at one of the characters and then just keeps on going. <laughs> uh, yes, you may. I will. I will tumble past to uh, right. avoid trying to avoid. roll tumble. I will find that for you because I don't think I've actually tumbled in this campaign so far. So... No, you haven't. Oh, haven't. But then last campaign you were in full. You were in full plate armor too. So yeah, and and this one as well. I don't think I've tumbled either. Fourteen is one point insufficient. What is it with me today? That is <laughs> it's constantly one. Okay, so does that just mean I provoke an attack? You would provoke an attack of opportunity from the guard with the halberd. Yeah. Well, 1d10 plus 4, isn't it? Okay, well, <clears throat> I do that then. Uh, that's if it hits. Yeah. So 1d20 plus 9. 15? Ha ha! One below! Doesn't hit me. Okay, hey. the, guard, the guard sees you running past and tries to, like, move his halberd to get you, but you tumble sufficiently that it goes right over your back. I have had my uh, my hood up this entire time, just FYI. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So I tumble past, and I'm gonna have run down to this door. Okay. Uh, now it is in oh, now it is the guard's turn. What? So this is after the attack of opportunity from you charging him. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So that is a twenty-seven. I'm guessing that hits. Yeah. Why are you celebrating this? Because it's fun. Oh crap, we've got 72 people in, jeez. Well, yeah, because wow. you're taking on the world, basically. 13 damage to Mungo. Okay. Where do I take that off of, anyways? So I, I was uh, on... I'm, I'm handling that at the moment. I was on 48, now I'm on 35, there we go, yeah. Okay! Mungo's turn! Yes, yes it is. Yes! Okay! I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time, putting two into um the power attack. So... Slash roll 1d20 plus 10. First attack. Yes! Okay, that's a hit. And then 1d20 plus 8 for the second. Yeah. That is also a hit. Just. Yes! So, I slash roll 2d8. And then I add on 18, because that's two of my strengths, and the two twos. Yep. <sighs> With a one in there, it's still 24. <laughs> Criminy. <Nice. laughs> this is the day of a in, in one attack, do you want to see exactly how low uh, you've managed to get his health? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> he performs a minor health check to see his health. <laughs> How low is his health? Please tell me I tell him in one hit. To be fair, if you want to do it roleplay wise, Mungo could probably tell from the amount of fights he's had by now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. And there's also a lot of blood a lot more blood now. <laughs> there we go. So <laughs> oh my god. You're already raging. raging. Yeah, I know. Yeah, which means this is one more round down. That's, uh, there's, um, there's eight wait. more rounds of Raging Mungo. Oh, <laughs> didn't, didn't running down the corridor not take a round? That was a round. Oh, that's yeah, when that's that one too. To me. Seven more rounds. No, that was a round because that's when they were trying to grapple me. Yeah. So I've, so I've just accounted for that. I oh, what, did you only count two rounds before? Yeah, there was the round when you started raging and killed a guy. And then there was the round where you were grappling and then moved. And then there was the round where you nearly just killed another guy. Yeah. Shame about that one. <laughs> Uh, right, can I, while this is going on again, can I chime the door? Uh, it is Terry's turn, so okay. yes, you may. Yep. Mm. Okay, well, I do that. That's seven uses. I don't know how many. How many uses do I have of this thing? Actually, you can just, just tell me when it goes. Just tell me when it goes. Yeah. Right. So that door uh, will open. Right, so Terry, what are you up to? I, um... If you have a heal spell, I would advise not using it on the guard. <laughs> what? I would advise you not to use a, a heal spell on the guard because it will just go to waste. I wasn't going to heal the guard. Yeah, you would need to heal him a lot to survive Monko yeah. right now. You should heal me. I'm your friend. Yeah, but I'm also trying to not get us all arrested and possibly killed. 
But surely you don't want Mungo to die. I don't. I love how everybody's just forgotten about the guard that's in here. Well, he ain't moving. <laughs> right. Um, <clears throat> he just I... heard a guy get bisected on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I think can it's I dissected, man. Speak to the guard whilst I'm attacking. <laughs> uh, can you what? Speak to the guard while I'm attacking, just yes, like talk, asking for speaking, to assist. Speaking about free, uh, like uh, thirty words or more. Essentially, it's a free action. You can say that whenever you. Okay. You can't, you can't hold a conversation, but you can speak. That. You can speak a few words. Violence right. is never the answer. It's the question, and the answer is yes. What's, what sort of attack do I need to do then? Is it just a normal attack? Uh, it will be your base attack plus your dexterity for a touch. I imagine you're basically just whacking him with the blunt side of your sword. Is pretty much what I'm imagining. Right. Okay. Um. Well, then I also ask the guard to assist me in this. <laughs> the, the, the guard who just got like his intestines exposed to the raw air. <laughs> Slumhead, I love yeah, the artwork. Thank you so much. Wait, isn't Odo supposed to be next to me? Uh, you went. You all, you've left Odo right now at the yeah, moment. Yeah, you, you ran away. Oh. And currently, I'm looking at a nice piece of artwork that Silverhead has done for me. Yeah, go, okay, guys. Any fan art you do of anybody, whether we're any, whether all of us are involved or not, tweet me as well so that I can put it on the stream. They have. Yeah. He has? You, you, you tweeted on it? Yeah. I don't see it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been linked to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, maybe it's just me then. Okay, well, sorry. My bad, my bad. Continue. <laughs> right, so... Well, just... I, I asked the guard to assist in, in any way he can, even if it's just gra grabbing him by the legs, if he's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, One kick from Mungo so would probably... So it was... What was my role again? It was... It's your base attack plus your dexterity. My base attack. I love this game! <laughs> so for you, that is six, six and zero, so that's plus six. Yeah. And you just need to beat Mungo's uh, touch AC of 13. Uh, that's, a, that's a different one, Andy. Don't know who, is that Odo? Uh, yes. Yeah, that yeah. was, yeah. Oh, awesome. Is there more? Jeez. Don't know. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you go onto my uh, Twitter or whatever it's called, I think this should be up there. <laughs> On my Twitter, whatever it's called, you know. I don't use it. <laughs> it that I thing. I've got, got a 14. Okay, that is sufficient to initiate a grapple. So, with that... Do -do -do, do. I mean... Sorry, go on. Hmm? Go on. Yeah. Uh, with that, we now need opposed grapple checks. From me? Uh, yeah, we need a, we need a grapple check from both of you. <laughs> Tauri is first year Hermione. <laughs> uh, a, is... a grapple check in this case is your base attack bonus plus your strength modifier. Oh, is it? Ah, yes. oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it, Tauri, may the dice be ever in your favor. Also, so my base attack plus my strength modifier. Yeah, it would be plus your size modifier, but you're both uh, medium size. So <clears throat> plus. So, roll 1d. It is possible for you to beat me. It is. 